Upgrade Accessibility's logo shows the words Upgrade Accessibility in white text on a maroon background. It rises up off screen to make way for the Pride Our Way logo. The logo depicts a brown circle referencing a head which sits atop dancing light pink and blue flowy arm lines. Below the arms are arch lines overlapping each other, forming a circle. These lines are each a color of the pride rainbow. In the center of the circle is a black dot. The colors all come from the Progress Pride flag. The background is a tan, thin squiggle. Upgrade Accessibility and Pride Our Way were both founded by Mary Fashik. The logo for Pride Our Way was created by Judine Rose Studio. A black screen with white text that reads, Pride Our Way would like to thank the following sponsors. Each logo appears as the name is read. New Disabled Shop, Bella Guy Chan, and Azuria Talmud. A screen appears with a black background and white text that reads, The following art pieces have been submitted for presentation at Pride Our Way. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads, Monroe at queer underscore and underscore Jewish on Instagram. Also at invisible underscore illness underscore visibility on Instagram. The screen fades to Monroe's art piece. Small canvas with the word visible written in script in the colors of the trans flag. The eyes are hearted. Each corner has a circle in the trans flag colors. There is a rainbow infinity symbol on the bottom representing neurodivergence and a Jewish star on top. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads Linz at Linz MW123. The screen fades to Linz's first art piece. Submission number one. A mixed media colorized photograph of butterfly cutouts of both colored construction paper and old books. Photo is edited to dramatize the coloring and to look like a white bordered Polaroid. Photo by Linz. Butterfly construct found in a public library. The screen fades to Linz's second art piece. Submission number two. A saturated and colorized photo of a crosswalk painted in rainbow colors to celebrate pride. The busy city is blurred in the background. Photo taken in Boulder, Colorado. The screen fades to Linz's third art piece. Submission number three. A pride flag in the immediate foreground. The flag is still recognized as a pride flag, but is covered in gray splotches of paint left there after a hate crime vandalism. Background is a freshly painted bridge in neon rainbow colors that reads, love is love. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads, Annie Grace, at Annie Grace 37, made of clay. The screen fades to Annie Grace's art piece. Blended images of a calm sky at the top of the image fades to more ominous black and orange clouds at the bottom of the image. The hands from the creation of Adam are seen, God's in the top right, Adam's in the bottom left. Both hands are holding a ring in the colors of the pride flag. Inside the ring in white text reads, made of clay. Below that text is black text that reads, and lay with me in sin. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads, Casey Gallagher at Luna Community Care. 
the screen fades to Casey's first art piece. Image one, a gradient rainbow painted background, a black ink neurographic drawing with various shapes, patterns, and line density over the background. Medium, watercolor and medium line Sharpie marker on watercolor paper. The screen fades to Casey's second art piece. Image two, a black neurographic drawing on white paper, an image of the sun with various patterned rays, a multi-patterned mushroom in the center, and various shapes, patterns, and line density surrounding the patterns. Medium, medium line Sharpie marker on watercolor paper. The screen fades to Casey's third art piece. Image three, a colorful neurographic drawing surrounding multiple cat and crystal stickers. Various shapes, patterns, and line densities surround the stickers. Medium, paint markers and stickers on stock card. The screen fades to Casey's fourth art piece. Image four, three interconnected circles of varying height in a line from left to right. Inside the circles are neurographic shapes, patterns, and line density in shades of red, yellow, gold, and orange outlined in black. Medium, thin lined Sharpie and paint markers on watercolor paper. The screen fades to Casey's fifth art piece. Image five, neurographic nature art depicting the various layers of the air, earth, and land from top to bottom various shapes, patterns, floral elements, and line density. Medium, thin line Sharpie on watercolor paper. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads, Lauren Hollick at L Hollick Artist on Instagram. Una sun vergüenza, one without shame. The screen fades to Lauren's art piece. Large 44 by 66 stretched canvas. In the center, there's an acrylic painted slightly larger than life size chubby unclosed figure curled up in the fetal position on their right side. Viewers are facing downward from above the figure. The body is slightly saturated dark discoloration where there is pressure with the ground in between body parts. Arms are up by their face, but half of the face can be seen with hair outstretched above. Knees are up toward the chest, causing fat rolls on the stomach with crossed feet overlapping. The canvas surrounding the figure is painted purple and covered in dried moss on top of that, with the moss painted darker around the figure. There are two types of handmade mushrooms in clusters all around the figure. One with little textured clay balls attached to white wire poking out of the canvas. Others are off-white cat mushrooms made of construction paper and tissue paper. Formerly live honeybees are throughout the artwork. Some appear dead while others could look like they are crawling. Seven bees are inside the palm of the figure's hand. Others are on the painted stomach or on the canvas around the figure. There are also sweet gum tree pods water caltrops, and acorn caps glued on top of the dried moss. There are also a few rusty nails amongst the moss, hand sewn to the canvas. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads, Ray Soller at Brain Fog Designs. The screen fades to Ray's art piece. Digital illustration of the bottom half of a person sitting in a manual wheelchair seen from the top view. They have a bright yellow shirt, green shorts, and black and white checkered shoes. The words slow and poke are tattooed above each knee. Their skin is white with little black hairs. There are yellow flames around the person. The background is bright orange. The screen fades and a new screen appears with a black background and white text that reads Naveen Daniel at crippled underscore comrade. The screen fades to Naveen's art piece. Frida Kahlo lying in bed and drawing on a canvas using paintbrushes and a palette 
Inside her canvas, the painting of Frida Kahlo sitting on her wheelchair in a rainbow background. The painting in Frida's headband is only colored.